With Project Soundgarden, everybody becomes a musical instrument. Before you arrive at Soundgarden, you can download an app for your Android phone. Apps for other mobile platforms are coming soon. And then your phone will share your location while you're in the garden and allow you to compose music by walking around. Many people can visit the garden at once and collaborate to generate original music. The music in this situation is made up of two components. We have the background layer, and on top of that we have the, some overlay sounds. Each area in the garden is associated with a, a particular instrument, and if someone is in that area, that instrument is added to the, the background music. And then as people walk around, you get overlay sounds played over the top. And some examples of this are bird noises and some short piano riffs. So we're going to give you a quick demonstration of how you might expect this to work in a garden. Uh, Tom is here, he's going to visit the garden. He has the app installed on his phone. As he walks around the garden, uh, he triggers sensors which correspond to various elements of the music. Um, you should be able to hear drums playing now, and he also triggered the piano riff as he entered the garden. Um, then he can walk to a different area of the garden. And the music changes as he moves around. Now as it stands still, the music's not going to change. Um, if we want to add more layers to the music, we need to introduce somebody else uh, to the garden. So Linka also has the, the app installed on her phone. So she's going to enter the garden. And you now he's in bass playing along with the piano from Tom. The clips are synchronized and the, we choose the, the clips of music based on a regular grammar so we can make sure that the clips complement each other. Finally, Yi Peng and Joseph join the garden and trigger some more senses. As you can hear, you get different instruments depending on which area of the garden people are in. And this changes as people move around the garden. We're using Bluetooth Low Energy Beacons to measure the proximity of Android phones. Uh, the data from the sensors is then sent over Wi-Fi to the, the main server. And this is used to arrange and layer the short clips of music that we've got. Uh, so this is a BLE beacon, which is really small. It's powered by a couple of AA batteries. And this can easily be hidden in a garden um, and powered for months. And then phones with Bluetooth 4 uh, can communicate with these beacons and get the, the signal strength and the beacon ID and send that to the server. Um, the beacons create a sensor network and the phones collect data and send this to the server. The server receives this and from the signal strengths we can determine which area of the garden people are in. Uh, another option we've got is to use triangulation to determine a more precise location. Um, so we work out where everyone is, uh, we add instruments to the background layer if necessary and as people move around between the areas we trigger the overlay sounds which are played immediately and the, the bird sounds and the piano riffs, which you hopefully heard in that demo. So that's Project Soundgarden. We hope you had a chance to try it out upstairs, and thank you for listening.